There are three ways to get the burning bow. The source happens to be one of the enemies I told you to avoid. Dive Talon. For best results, get it from the side or the rear. In the bottom right corner, note that little red dot. If you don't see it, press me. Or if you do see it, press R2 to shuffle. If you don't see it, rapidly press triangle. Until it otherwise is next. Press R2 until you don't see that red dot. Basically, is what I'm going to say. Once you get three hits, you're pretty much good to go. Extras are really not a necessity. Why three hits? There's actually a good reason for it. Try to just hold R2 and go The reason is this. This is called a concurrence. Inferno is at a power of 90. Take that multiplied by the enemy's level. 28 usually, and that's how much damage you'll do to it. It drops something. Grab the loot bag. No burning bow. Rats. It's a 1% drop, which means this is going to take a while. Because I got it on my very first try, I'm going to go off and save. That's the only time I recommend it, anyway. Oh, and another thing. Because quickening is based on strength, raise strength as much as you absolutely can. Hence the reason for doing all that. Once you're done saving, just quit and reload. get it in time. In that case, as soon as the thing returns, or we are getting back to this desert scene again, press X, rapidly turn the camera around, and run for it. That's why you should not uh, get from the front, get from the side or rear. Only get from the front if you're an expert, or skilled anyway. Touch the save crystal and return to try again. However, when you return to the zone and it finally loads, immediately press X, select the same quickening again, and try to get, do another run. Of course, head for the zone exit immediately first thing upon it loading. That way you don't get attacked. How about some of this? And just try again. The nice thing about Vaughn is quickening, level one quickening is really fast. Just as I got it right at the very last moment. Figures. Back to running again. Wow, that's quite far. When that happens, you can wait at the zone line for a little bit. That's usually the case when you get it from the rear. Notice the uh, huge, wide circle that thing made. <laughs> that helps. Just keep trying until you defeat it. Okay, so it wants to run. Again. How about some of this? No burning bow, reload. 
Do note that the burning bow is a 1% drop, which means you're going to be at this for quite a while. Got a surprise for you. Basically, 69 tries will have... Every set of 69 tries you make is about a 50% chance it has. And yes, I do have a habit of skipping over it. It's kind of annoying. How about some of this? Just reference my game pack guide for details on how the odds stack up so badly against you. Yes, 1% means it's going to be a while. However, there is a second method for working around that, and that's what I call the chain status death trick. It's a bug in the game. Cheap license point. And I only recommend saving, just for reference, until you get to about level 18 to 20, somewhere in there. After that, don't bother saving after your first attempt at three hits that defeats it. Round 82. Look what I got. 82 attempts and I finally get it. First thing you do when you get it, save, and I mean save. Unless you want to go through this effort all over again. Don't even do anything. Just save immediately. I'm not going to stress that anymore. Sixty-nine's about the normal. So, what is this burning bow actually going to be like? It's going to be well rewarding, I'll tell you. First, obviously, to do anything with it, you have to license it. So where's the license? Go from here, one, two, three, here. This real license right here is where it's at. But, unfortunately, you got to get a bunch of junk. There it is. Now, obviously, don't forget to equip it. Oh, wow, look at that attack power. It more than doubles. Again. Except you lose out on your evading magic power and even some MP. But you ain't even gonna need them. And with the arrows, obviously, that you need to equip, it goes up even more on attack power. Ain't that so nice? Now let's go by and really show who's boss on these enemies. Remember how much of a pain those L runes used to be? Hmm. Of course, you might want to use a active mode again, for which I'm going to do. Wow. What a major improvement yeah. in damage that is. And then some. Now, what about these pesky things? Right. Pseudo run! Yeah. That's what I call pseudo running. The apparent look of running. Yeah. Well, the enemy is forced to have to wait, but now I can do these things like there's nothing to it. Unless, of course, they dodge one of the hits. 
Now, you love, you love that rod, right? Well, with this thing, you're gonna forget that rod. You almost don't even need it. This thing's gotta take a detour. And, however, unless you, if you don't have a blue sky, the bow's gonna miss like crazy. That's why you must have it. <sighs> what a relief that is, having this. And about an average number of runs, pretty much. And with two of them, this is a little different. Focus on one of them. Pseudo run game. That was the first time I got hit in all those enemies. It's because the thing dodged the attack. Yeah. Ignore the chest. It's not important that you get chests every time. Especially at this point where Giggle's almost not a necessity. And what's the point of a potion? Do still do not attack those just yet. You're too low of a level. Yeah. Getting sighted draws the Urstrixes over. But now these things are a cinch. Don't even have to worry about protecting once you get a few more levels. Guess what? They're going down in one hit. Much like the rod. Get sighted by them. Draw those Urstrix is over. Ignore that. That's right along the route. Ooh, high potion. Good for emergencies. Another thing about the bow, you can keep your distance while attacking these things, and they won't even know what hit them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, don't you know, Urstrixes are coming. That's expected. Yeah. Ew. 35 gil for something that's almost not even needed anymore. So, at this point, it's time to level up. For best results, it's nothing more than taking a circuit. Go here, over to here, down to here, ignoring the enemies there. Go into here and just keep doing a circuit. That's all you gotta do. Of course, if you're doing the 40-hour method, consider working on the story instead. Yeah. And that's another unique thing about the bows. There's a chance, about 5%, that you'll get a critical hit. <laughs> Lazy thing. Gotta love pseudo running. Yeah. Much like when you first got the rod, you ended up taking a few hits here and there, and eventually you got to the point where, well, you're not even taking hits at all. Or at least very rarely, thanks to enemies evading. These enemies just ignore. Of course, if they're right along the way, since you still can use license points. 
And you can also ignore their loot because they're not really worth it. But it's along the route. Three license points. Why not? though because it's cause it loves fights. Yeah. Completely cancelled that deck. Gotta get rid of other junk in the way. Wolves in this case. Yeah. Wow, got you in one hit. Sleep near. Not a problem. <laughs> For this thing, it's a very powerful enemy, but if you have Phoenix Downs on hand, and it a Phoenix Down. That's what the Phoenix Downs are used for. And what do you know? That's a lot of experience for one simple thing like that. Of course, if had you taken Dusty, you'd actually get more than that. And about that kind of same simplicity almost. A little riskier, but not so much. Consider getting sighted by something weak like that to draw the Urstrixes over. They love fights. Yeah. I can't get away in time. Not fast enough. Oh, looky here. Gotta take too long of a detour, huh? Yeah. Making use of the terrain's always useful. Here's one of my favorite spots. Walk up to the edge of the cliff and, well, just follow it along. It's got, to, it's got to take such a huge detour to get over to you. One thing I often like doing is just firing off slow on it, or some random status effect that I got, and then just attacking yeah. on the way over. one thing you could do is buy a bunch of Phoenix Downs from him. Or at least as many as you can want to get anyway. Don't forget to sell your loot in the usual amounts. That's a lot of gil from just three items. Almost pretty much so. Sure makes this thing look pretty poor now. Hmm. Again, more bizarre items. Although it's not really necessary that you get them. At this point, save 3280 gil. Because you're going to need it. For the next item that we need to get. And there's another one? Okay, so what's after the Burning Bow then? Well, it's actually not a weapon, it's armor. For now, I'll just save. 